Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about center of gravity. Center of gravity is defined as a single point in the structure where the total weight of the body passes through. So let's say we have a geometry here and we want to find the center of gravity. In reality, the weight is being applied as a distributed loading. But dealing with distributed loading is challenging. So we would like to replace all this distributed loading with one single load. So finding the magnitude of this weight would be just simply the summation of all distributed loading. So finding the magnitude would be the summation of all the distributed loading or integral another way of representing summation. But in addition to the magnitude, the location is also important for us. We need to know where this W is acting. And we show this location by the center of gravity. So we call it Y bar and X bar here. And to find these values, the moment of the two system, system one and system two should be the same. So if I have a differential element here, if I want to find the moment of this differential element, the magnitude of the, the load is dw. The moment arms is x tilde because I have many of these differential elements. So I need to add all the my moments together. So I will have uh, x tilde dw from the left side and on the right side, I have X bar W. And if I wanna find X bar, it would be simply X tilde DW over W. And I can write the same thing for Y bar and Z bar. So Y tilde DW over W. And X tilde and Y tilde are the coordinates of more differential element. So that would be y tilde and x tilde. So centroid or center of geometry is an extension of center of gravity. So if I write my center of gravity equation here, but if the density is the same, we will find out that if the density is not changing throughout geometry, we will find out the center of gravity and center of geometry uh, are the same. But if not, you will see that the equation would be very similar. The weight would be the density times the volume. So dw would be rho dv. I'm going to replace it in the equation that I found earlier. So x tilde instead of dw, I'm going to write rho dv. And instead of W I will write rho v. I can see you can see that these two will be cancelled out. So now x bar would be x tilde dv over volume. So I found center of geometry. So the equation is very similar to center of gravity. For one, we are dealing with weight. The other one, we are dealing with the geometry parameters here, volume. So in this equation, x bar, y bar, and z bar are the coordinates of centroid. So they are our solution. That's what we are trying to find, centroid or center of gravity. x tilde, y tilde, and z tilde are the coordinate of our differential element, the centroid of our differential element. We need to initially find these to get to our solution. So the centroid equations, we can write it for the volume. That's what we developed, x tilde dv over dv for x bar, for y bar. Similar equation, just replace x with y. And similarly for z bar. For an area, instead of dealing with dv, the volume, we use area and then we can write our centroid equation for a line as well so again in the equations you have dl so equations are very similar depending on what you want to find line area or volume you have to plug in the corresponding 
a geometry parameter. So the procedure for analysis, there are four main steps. First, we need to determine our differential element. Then we need to find the coordinate of that differential element. And we call that X tilde, Y tilde, and Z tilde. And then we need to find the area or the length or the volume of our differential element. And then we write our equations. Uh, so let's write, uh, let's go over a couple of examples. Let's say we want to find the centroid of uh, this length. So first, the first step to find differential element. Our differential element would be something like this. This is dl. So that's our first step done. The second step, the coordinate of our differential element. So the coordinate of this, the x tilde and y tilde, would be simply x and y for us here. So x tilde, y tilde, x and y, whatever the coordinate we have here. And the third step is to find dl. So here, if this is dl, and here, we have dy and dx. So according to Pythagorean theorem, dl would be a square root of dx squared plus dy squared. So the first three steps are done. And the last step is just to write the equation. Let's look at here. Here we have an area. First step, differential element. So I'm going to select this differential element here. Then the second step is to find the x tilde and y tilde of our differential element, or the centroid of this differential element. What would be the value here? So the x would be simply x, and the y would be half of the y that we have here, because this is the y here, and then half of that would be the center of our differential element. So it would be y over 2. The top line is described by this equation. If you want somewhere in between, it would be half of y. The third step is to find the area, dA. So if this is our differential element, we can think of it as a rectangle. It's not quite rectangle, but we can think of it as a rectangle. Technically, it's something like this. But we know the width is dx. Here is y. So the area is simply y dx. Here y is given as function of x. We could select the differential element this way. But if we would have done our job much more difficult. But the procedure is the same. Now let's look at this volume. So the first step differential element for this, that would be a disk somewhere here. So our differential element would be a disk. I'm going to draw the disk here. So the second step would be our coordinate. So here we have y and z, or y tilde and z tilde. So y would be whatever y we have here. And z you can see is 0. The third step is to find a volume. So what is the volume of a disk in general? So the volume of a disk is whatever radius we have here, r pi r squared, whatever thickness we have here. But for us, what is the radius? The radius is changing based on where we are, and it's described by z. So z is actually our radius. This line would be our radius. So pr squared would be z squared and t would be our dy. So pi z squared dy would be our dv. The volume of our differential element. If our differential element is moved to the right or left, the value for z is changing and then we'll have the correct volume. Now here we have uh, a co in a Cartesian coordinate, but but a but a portion of uh, a circle. So first, we need to identify our differential element. So for our differential element, 
I can use this portion here. So that would be my differential element. So which has D theta here. And this length would be R. The second step is to find X tilde and Y tilde for this. X tilde and Y tilde. So what are X tilde and Y tilde? The centroid of our differential element. So if I have differential element, where would be the center? So we can think of it as a rectangle. So for a, sorry, triangle. For a triangle, we know the centroid is one third from this side or two thirds from the other side. So the centroid is two thirds here. And for me, because I have this distance is two thirds r, here is theta, here is d theta, and this is two thirds of r. So if I want to find x tilde, it would be two thirds of r cosine theta. And y tilde would be 2 thirds of r sine theta. Okay, I'm done with the third, second step. The third step is the area. So if here, we, this would be r d theta. So if you think of it as a triangle, you have r d theta times the other side, which is r divided by 2. So it would be 1 over 2 r squared d theta. So these are the three steps. And the last one, you have an area again, but is surrounded by two lines. So I can define my differential element here. So that's the first step, differential element. It's just a rectangle. The second step is to find the coordinate of the centroid of that differential element. So I want to find this location, x tilde and y tilde. x would be whatever our x is, if you look at here. y tilde would be somewhere between y1 and y2. The, the bottom line is described by y1, the top line is described by y2. So y tilde would be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And what would be the area? The second step in our problems. So the area, if the width is dx, and the bottom coordinate is y1, this is y2, this height would be y2 minus y1. So our area, dA, would be y2 minus y1 dx. So the first, these three steps are the main steps. After that, we plug it into equation finding our differential element finding the centroid of our differential element and then finding the area volume or or the length for this problem we could select another differential element uh, here based on this and then we had to rearrange our equation to have x as function of y here x as function of y and then find the corresponding x tilde which would be the average of the two x values between the two coordinates, and then our y tilde would be y. So you could select different type of differential element, but usually one would be much easier than the other.